Just a little video tour of my old collection of Canadian-made Coleman stoves, lanterns, and coolers. Hey everybody, Joe here. So it's a cold winter day, and last night I started playing around with my Coleman stuff. Thought I'd do a quick video on it today. We've got four of the old Coleman stoves, three lanterns, and two of the old metal band Coleman coolers. Over here we have a 421D. Somebody painted it black of all things. That's eventually going to get cleaned up and paint proper Coleman green. This one is from the late 1960s. Over here, my favorite, a Coleman 4M. It's got the gold colored tank on it, which you don't see very often anymore. And the fold down metal legs. Those fold over when this is closed and seal a little lid. I can show you that later. Here we have a 411A, same kind of legs on this one. I believe this is from between 1964 and 1966. Uh, the 4M, that's from in the 1950s. And last but not least, over here we have a 421D. This is from the uh, late 60s or maybe even into the 70s. This one is currently not working. This one is currently not working. This guy works great, and this one here works but really needs a good cleaning up. And over along here we have three lanterns, all the 321Bs. Uh, the one in the middle works like a charm. This one here was working great until recently. I think I just got to take it apart, clean, up, clean it all up a little bit on the inside. And this one here, also a 321B, tried firing this up earlier. And uh, flickers a little bit, and then you had some flame coming right out the adjuster right here. So i got to take this apart and tune it up. Might have to replace something, I don't know. And then, of course, a couple of the old coolers. Now I'm going to pause this video for a second, and then uh, maybe light a couple things up. And uh, we'll be back with that. Okay, so this one is the 421. 421D, and we're going to this one down now. This one is actually the cleanest, it's in really good shape that way. Uh, take it apart and figure out why this one isn't working, it would be a big deal. So that's one of the projects coming up. This stove, I got this a few years ago, from just around the corner from the house here at a yard sale. I think I paid five dollars for it. Uh, and this one here is the 411A, and got this one off of Kijiji a few years ago, or actually I think it was just last year. I think this was about five dollars, or maybe been at a yard sale nearby. Hey, basically nothing. Needs to tune up. To figure out why it's not working. And I may even strip it right down and repaint everything, make it look original. And then I like about this one. This has got the really cool legs that fold up. They shine. Just like that. So that's that one. Here we have one of the three lanterns, 321D. This one was also bought at a yard sale just around the corner from the house a couple summers ago. I think that was uh, $10, maybe less. And that's one of the ones, that's the one that has the gas coming out of it as I tried to light it up yesterday. So I got a little bit of work to do to fix this one. And here we have another 321B. This was bought from yard sales probably five or six years ago. I've used this a lot. I just went to light this up the other day and it comes on, but it's kind of flickering a lot, so I have bad fuel in that one, I'm not sure. It won't be hard to fix, and that one will be like new again in no time. Close that up. And here we have the 4M, which is my favorite. And we have the 421D. 4M, it's a nice gold tank, which is kind of rare these days, and the folding legs like on the other one I showed you. 
And the 421D, this works, but it's kind of ugly. Somebody painted it black, I don't like that. That's going to get all stripped down, cleaned up. And the last lantern, the 321B, I have three of these. This is one that works good. So in a minute, I'm going to pump these all up and light them up, and I'll be back, and you can see them in action. a couple of stoves lit up and one lantern turned off the light so it'll show up a little nicer now this old stove over here I noticed that the second burner sputters quite a bit so I turned that off I got some work to do on that as well and the old 4M my favorite there it is humming along just fine and one lantern well, it lights up the garage a little bit this is just over in the corner so there you go.